is domain privacy protection worth it? And more specifically, should you pay extra for it? Hostpapa normally charges $15.99 a year for privacy protection and domain.com charges $8.99. I also want to show you exactly what happens when you don't have privacy protection for your domain. So let's actually do that right now. You can do a who is lookup for any domain name and find the owner's personal information, including their name, street address, phone number, and email. At least that was the case until GDPR. I won't get into this too much, but in case you're not familiar, here is a 10 second summary. The general data protection regulation took effect in the European Union in May 2018, which protects the way companies store personal information. Because the internet is global, GDPR had worldwide implications. So anyway, to clarify, before 2018, you could do a who is lookup and get personal information for domains without privacy protection. But what do things look like today? To test this out, I bought a domain name from Hostpapa opting out of their strongly recommended domain privacy, and I registered it at this address in New York. Next, I did a who is lookup for that domain, and to my surprise, all of my personal information except the state and the country were redacted for privacy. I did notice that the registrant email has this link, so I went there and it took me to tieredaccess.com and presented me with a domain owner contact form for my domain. I filled out the form and asked myself if this domain name is for same. Lo and behold, I got an email moments later on behalf of tiered access. So all of my personal information was hidden, even though I didn't pay for privacy protection. At this point, I was confused, so I registered another domain name at domain.com this time. Again, I declined the privacy and protection, even though they were very explicit that without it, all of my personal information will be made public in the Whois database. Anyway, I registered the domain name at this Pennsylvania address, completed the verification of my contact information, and did another Whois lookup. Again, to my surprise, all of my personal information except for the state and the country were redacted for privacy, even though I didn't pay for the privacy protection. Same thing here, there was a link to tieredaccess.com with a contact form, which I filled out and the request was sent to my inbox. So I went back to my dashboard and bought the domain privacy and protection for $8.99 plus tax to see what the difference would be, did the Whois lookup again, and saw literally no change in the output. It turns out that the whole GDPR thing that I mentioned in the beginning of this video forced ICANN, who oversees pretty much all domain name registrations, to stop publishing this personal information and instead put redact it for privacy, specifically for all fields except the state and the country. And as for the email field, the registrar must provide an email address or a web form, but must not identify the contact email address, which is exactly what we saw in both cases. That brings us back to the question of, is domain privacy protection worth it? But before I answer that question, I have one more example to show you. I have the domain name TonyBoney.com registered with Google Domains right now, and on my dashboard is the opportunity to turn privacy protection off. Doing a Whois lookup after this shows, as expected, just the state, country, and this time a randomized email address at proxyregistrant.email. But there's another option in the Google domains to make all contact info public, which I tried out. And this time the Whois lookup showed all of my personal contact information for all fields, including the name, mailing address, phone number, and email. So knowing that I would say, yes, it's a good idea to keep this personal information private, especially for small businesses who use their home address and phone number for registration, because this eliminates things like spam and other threats but paying extra for it really doesn't make sense, especially now when most registrars are redacting this information to begin with. I honestly don't know how some of these frankly dishonest registrars are getting away with upselling customers to pay extra for privacy protection when they're not allowed to make this information public to begin with. And that's just one of the many reasons that I use Google Domains for most of my registrations because Google Domains does not charge you extra for privacy protection. If you want to learn more about Google Domains, check out this video next.